Okay, well, not too bad. We do have a person coming through for you, it seems, at the end of this month, and as well as the Ace of Cups. But I do feel that there is a love offer that you are not... You're kind of turning your back on a love offer. I'm sensing. So this is interesting. Okay, well, let's go through the spread. At the heart of this reading, we have the Queen of Wands, which once again indicates to me a uh, fire sign. Okay, so for those of you who are possibly um, dating or who are in a relationship or, you know, who, who's in a romantic relationship, let's go through that first. It could be a fire sign or it could be somebody with children. And I'm sensing, I'm, I'm sensing a very strong children vibe in this spread for, for some reason because I do feel that um, we have a lot of trees and trees indicate stability and trees indicate something that it has roots. So it's like family trees or even, you know, situations where um, it's not that easy to extract ourselves because trees take a long time to grow. I have a tree here with the seven of coins, with the nine of wands. So it, it's, there's an element of family tree. There is an element of like um, embeddedness, okay? So which makes the situation quite difficult for you to extract yourself from. Um, in the past position, we have the magician. And the magician indicates to me this is somebody who... In this deck, at least, it's somebody who's very smug. It's somebody who is potentially playing the field, okay? They know how to charm you, and they know how to steal your heart. And I do feel, based on this spread, you're dealing with somebody who said all the right things, who promises, who, who, you know, who, who makes promises, and you don't really see it being delivered. So I do feel that if you are dealing with this person and, you know, they've, they've been making all, all these promises, you might go back to the person one more chance, uh, to give them one more chance, and they might actually deliver. Or for the other half of you, you might just, you know, completely move on to somebody new because I definitely see a Knight of Wands, which is a different energy coming through by the end of this month, where there is somebody's carrying a torch for you. <laughs> It's like they're carrying a torch for you and you feel like, okay, well, this person likes me and this person is interested in me. So I'm going to go ahead and, and you know, switch to this new person. That's what I'm sensing. But in the past position, I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you felt very secure and it seemed like you thought you knew where you stood you thought you knew where, you know, where things are, what to expect, and you thought you knew that this was something that you could count on, or you thought you had control in the situation. You thought you had control in the situation, and then there was like some type of a reversal, I'm sensing. As a result of it, I do feel that there might be a, a situation where, you know, um, they might have said something to to kind of just um, hurt, and it hurts your feelings, but I don't feel that they're, they meant to do that, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody who's a little bit harsh or abrasive, and I, I do feel that it's corroborating the, a similar theme with the monthly readings. So if you're dealing with somebody who's a little bit harsh or abrasive, that energy is going to really dampen your self-esteem a little bit because we have the crossing energy as the Three of Swords, but the foundation here is seven of coins, which is two people working together to make sure something is uh, stable, something is off to a good start. So this is definitely two people working in alongside one another, shouldering the weight. So it's, it's very balanced is what I'm sensing. Um, in this situation, you know, if you're looking at the Rider weight deck, the seven of uh, pentacles indicates uh, something that we are invested, we have invested a lot of time a lot of resources, a lot of money in potentially, and we're waiting for it to bloom and to come to fruition or to harvest, okay? And there was a period of, you know, bachelorhood possibly. You feel that this person is potentially playing the field or you feel like they have many, many options and they're pretty, they have like a very strong sway control over you. It's almost like, you see them as this bigger, larger-than-life character. 
And I feel like for the next two weeks, you're going to feel that your expectations or your initial assessment of them has, I wouldn't say is deflated or overly inflated, but I feel that they're going to start to come down to earth and they're going to start to operate on more on your level to make sure that the relationship goes in a direction where it is mutually beneficial for both parties is what I'm sensing. In terms of what's crowning you here is the eight of coins, okay? So I do feel for a lot of you, there is a little bit of envy, not in a bad way. Envy is, um, is a big motivation for us to work hard. But there is somebody, well, you're thinking back at the past too. So this can be you or an external figure. So in the past, I feel like you were living in luxury, okay? And then there might have been a situation where there was like a um, financial hardship. And now you're building up your empire. And you're kind of like thinking back at the heyday, thinking to yourself, you know, I, I was on top of the world. I had it all. And I'm trying to work myself up to get to this level, okay? Either that or you are idealizing or romanticizing your romantic love interest or your romantic partner, thinking to yourself that um, they're out of my league. And then as a result, you're trying to work really hard because we're progressing from seven of coins, which is hard work, waiting for the uh, payoff, waiting for things to come to fruition. But then the work is still continuing with the eight of coins. So you want to be here and you're trying to build up your empire, which is where you're devoting all of your time, all of your resources. But you're still missing the former life that you had when you were on top of the world. So keep in mind that money does not bring happiness. And for all earth signs in general, um, possibly accept Capricorn because Capricorns are ambitious for the the status for the prestige but when it comes to money you understand that money well Capricorns a lot of Virgos too I feel you understand that money is a means to an end but you want to provide something you, you want to um, you want to prove to the world that you can you know climb back up on top and be victorious so you're longing for the heyday or you're trying to rebuild your empire which is a great thing to do virgos but i do feel that you know you're you're a little bit there's way too much pressure on you or you're putting way too much pressure on yourself so that's why i would say that money is a means to an end make sure you take care of your health make sure that you are taking care of your not only physical but mental health don't over exert yourself don't stretch yourself too thin where you have all this money floating around but you have no time to really enjoy your life or you don't have a good quality of life okay so keep things into perspective there might be pressure um, you might be dealing with somebody who is very very financially stable or they could just have a lot of prestige very high rank status associated with them and you feel that they're out of your league so you can't really you're afraid to approach them for example but um you know it's all in your head okay so don't let these um insignificant exterior facade affect your self-worth and dictate who or what you're worth it's just um it's just it doesn't make sense and it's also just you know it's very superficial. So just keep things into perspective. Know your worth, okay? So whatever financial hardships you've been dealing with, you're going to be okay. So I just want you to be careful about projecting or worrying unnecessarily about things that are insignificant in the grand scheme of things, okay? Uh, what's coming in for you here is the Eight of Wands. So for for those of you who are, have been dealing with a... Um, a fire sign. Okay, so this is... Um, strong message that I'm getting. So for Virgos, this is a very, very specific message. If you have been spending a lot of money on a fire sign and you know they're they're using you, okay? Just, this is only for those of you who are being used. I do feel that um, what what's happening here is you know in every type of relationship okay it takes two to tangle and you're looking at this situation as if oh my gosh they used me you know they they used me for money they used me for for whatever um i want you to also understand that you also knew but you allow it to happen 
Okay. So now it, it could be, you know, in the past you had like a lot of financial abundance. This person came along and now you're in the poor house and you know, you're, you're kind of like, uh, holding a grudge, I guess you're, you're holding a very strong grudge against this person because you feel a sense of financial lack. But the way you're looking at this, obviously, I'm not going to dwell on this too much because I, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. Don't let the other person use you. So it takes two. So don't look at this situation as if you were, you know, the, the only, well, you, you are sort of the only victim. But at the same time, you know, how your, your enabling behavior landed you in this position. So that's for a very specific few of you, okay? But I'm sensing that there was a definitely a reversal that happened in the past based on your financial status. It could be your financial situation or your status. And there is going to be coming through a, another reversal. So this is something to expect coming through through for you know the rest of this month and possibly for the next two months so I, I definitely feel there is you're working very hard so you don't have to worry if you have fears anxieties about reversals happening in your fortune in your finances sector you're working very hard so don't make the same mistakes and you will be fine so I don't feel that this the fears the anxieties are realistic okay so as long as you've learned from your mistakes you're going to be fine it could just be simple. I feel like Virgos are really good with money. So I, I feel like this message is not going to apply to... It's only of select few that have squandered their wealth and their resources. And especially if you've taken on like a lover who was very, very extravagant. And now you're kicking yourself like, why did... I think it was a good idea at the time and you're dealing with the aftermath, but you know, your finances looks fine. You're very stable. So I don't feel that you should, you know, hold a grudge about this. Okay. Let bygones be bygones. It, it took two people to get to that point. So just let it go. you you will be a lot happier. So in terms of the advice here is once again, you have the nine of wands. And when I see this, this is a, a person, this is you who is very, very broken, who is very, who has, you know, life has dealt them a series of blows, but they don't, they don't fall into the victim mentality and they don't play, um, they don't play the, the, they don't play victim. So this is like learning from your past and moving on. Okay. He's got his heart chakra open. He's like damaged, but he's willing to embrace life and, you know, approach life in a very open hearted, open minded manner. He's learned from his past, but he doesn't let his past cripple him. He's still going to be optimistic about the future. This is the advice for you. Um, once again, if you look at his stomach, there is a tree and a tree is about knowledge. Okay. And I, I feel like this is more of a, a holistic knowledge where you understand that life is about a series of choices. We all make decisions every day of our lives and decisions all basically lead us down a certain path. And the paths are ra rarely wrong as long as you can learn from your past and you can learn from your choices, then there is no such thing as a, a wrong choice, okay? So you've gotten where you are right now. It, it wasn't despite all the hardships that you went through. I just want you to understand that there is a difference between free will and there is a difference between fate. So moving forward, I do feel for a lot of Virgos, you are going to make smarter decisions. For those of you who had dealt with um, people who have been mooching off you financially, for example, you are going to approach relationships in a more level-headed, even-handed manner, which means that you, you're going to be careful who you invest your time in and you're going to make sure that you don't give your all. So you're holding back just a little bit, but you're not jaded enough to the point where you're going to put somebody through the ringer before you get into a relationship with them. So this can be on the business front too. A lot of you might have had business partners that ran the business to the ground and now you're picking up the pieces and you're rebuilding your empire. So don't get sucked back in if they try to come back and they try to tell you, oh, you know, let's build it all up. I feel like it's important for you to extract 
the lesson that needed to be learned from that experience and move on. Okay, just move on. In terms of external to you, you have the two of wands here. So this is definitely some type of a partnership, possibly in a work front, creative uh, endeavor, partnership that is coming through for you. Someone is making you an offer, okay? And when it's a one energy, it's a very physical energy. So if it's not a partnership, it could just be, you know, like a physical relationship that is on the offing for you. And you're going to have to decide whether or not you want that. Okay. And I feel that if you have had that in the past where you thought you could do like a um, no strings attached type of relationship and the other person just basically, you know, you felt used by the other person then you want to be very careful about new opportunities coming in. I don't feel there's anything bad associated with this because the other person is in the upright position and the opportunity itself, you have the sun and the moon, it's very, very balanced where it is going to make you quite happy emotionally and physically. So there's no harm in this situation. Additionally, we have here the Ace of Cups, which is definitely new love on the horizon, new ways of relating to another person, or offers of love coming to you. And in this deck, I do feel that whatever you've been searching for, okay, whatever you've you've got your, your heart chakra open and now you're just like, okay, I'm not going to look with my physical eyes anymore. I'm going to let my heart lead me because my heart and my intuition is going to guide me to the right person. So they're basically, you know, if you look at these two cards, they're basically looking for love they're looking for each other and they are going to, you know, run into each other because they're kind of manifesting one another. So this is somebody who is a little bit battle scar, but I do feel that you, despite everything that you've been through, you're okay. This is the first month in which you feel like, okay, um, I can start dating again, I guess, and feel normal dating, or at least you're wiser about the choices and partners that you're looking for. I also feel as well, you have the Ace of Cups here. So there is a little bit of a warning, and I would strongly advise you to do look into this, okay? First of all, you've got somebody in your past that basically used you, and you're like, okay, I'm going to be smarter about this. So your hopes is that maybe a trip taken will allow you to rekindle things with them. Because I do feel there is stalled communication and you don't know where you stand with them. So you're hoping that a trip taken will unblock this communication channel. Okay. And also the, the chariot is also a card of success. It's a card of being able to control our destiny. And you feel like, okay, I've got a good grip on this. But the, the outcome here is that, well, the, yeah, they, they came out like this. The outcome here is that there is new love. There is new, legitimate, honest, honest, very, very honest, sincere love coming through for you. But you're kind of turning your back on it. You're trying to move on in a different direction. And the direction that you're turning towards, you know, the death card is very, very positive changes, okay? But the direction that you're leaning towards is looking to me as if this is the same old, same old, where, you know, it's the Knight of Wands, could potentially be a new fire sign or a an old fire sign that you've been dealing with. But Knight of Wands are not people that are very stable, especially in the reverse position. So possibly a fire sign, uh, sun moon rising or possibly another person who is not 100% committed okay so or this can be you Virgos you're kind of like I'm done being you know getting my heart my heart torn out every relationship I get into so I'm going to play the field and I feel like for a lot of you it might be just the same fire sign or new fire signs new energies where you might get into situations where you're not careful about the give and take in the relationship or you give a little bit too much so that's the danger that i want you to look out for for the rest of this month and um there is definitely a love offer coming through but i do feel that it's it's coming with the key okay the key to restore yourself the key to to feel whole again this is like a very sincere love but i feel that for a lot of you 
you're approaching this from more of a physical perspective and want thinking to yourself what you can get out of it physically rather than emotionally. And what I mean by that is you're kind of jaded from past experience being used, being abused, or even being in situations where you gave it your all and you know things didn't pan out the way you want and there's a little bit of bitterness and resentment so you're kind of blazing through life thinking to yourself you know is this person sincere you're going to make them jump hoops through hoops before you invest but going back to the advice so there is new love coming through virgos what you decide to do with that is up to you make sure your heart and your head is in the right place going back to the advice don't let the past pains, disappointment, hurts, betrayals, whatever it is that you've went through, we've all been through it. Don't let it destroy your heart, okay? Virgos have very, very kind hearts. I've met a lot of Virgos in my life, and all the Virgos I've met have been amazing, very, very kind people. They would give you the shirt off their back. And, you know, never mind the, the sense of um, perfectionism, the nitpickiness, or, you know, whatever negative things you, you people say about Virgos. I feel that on a heart, on a soul level, Virgos have very, very, very good heart. And what I'm saying, what I've been seeing for, for some time is, you know, that, that sense of jadedness, that bitterness, it occasionally creeps in. And it affects your self-esteem. It also affects the partners that uh, you feel you deserve, okay? Which is um, good or bad. But I do feel that don't let past experiences, childhood conditioning, people who have put you down, ruin that really sweet spot in your heart because you have such a good, soft heart. Don't let your heart get hardened, okay? Don't expose your heart to the cold and let it get cold. So nurture, find whatever ways you need to, to nurture that, that sense of hope in life and love and, you know, to restore your faith in people and humanity as a whole, okay? And I feel like this next love coming through is going to provide you with a key for you to do that. Because, um, so looking at both of these, like I said, they're trying to find one another. It's kind of like your your heart is open, right? So you're susceptible to the cold, like growing, your heart growing cold. And this person has a key, so it could potentially be, you know, to lock you, lock up the heart or to open it again. You don't know, but the offer is sincere, so you really should go for it, okay? So, Virgos, um, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Um, make sure that, you know, if you are dealing, if you have dealt with a situation where somebody just, you know, used you, cast you out, there's no need to go to, back to it, and also don't let it make you very bitter and jaded just don't let it affect you don't let it ruin your holidays for those who are celebrating in the states you know thanksgiving um if you'd like a private reading please contact me at temperate star at gmail.com um i would say i don't feel like an overly busy energy but i definitely feel travels or in travel possibly a little bit of travel delays getting interrupted um i do feel that just in general, a lot of you need to open up your heart again, okay? Don't make people jump through hoops just to be with you because um, they haven't, especially if it's new people, they haven't done anything wrong and they're kind of like coming in, getting the uh, short end of the stick mainly because of what your ex is or, you know, people from the past have done. So make sure that you... Make sure that you treat people on an individual basis okay so that means you know understand the context and the person that you're dealing with 